excellence. Spirit of excellence. Spirit of excellence. Spirit of excellence. Spirit of excellence aims at creating lives of excellence. So studying at HETC in and out of campus, helping our students to develop their own uniqueness and creativity. Having a spirit of excellence is putting in 100% in everything you do, no matter how you feel or what's going on around you. For me, I want to try the best in everything I do. I might not be the best, but I always want to aim higher than where I am now. Having a spirit of excellence as a teacher for me means two things. It means striving for the um, best learning outcomes for my students and it means enjoying the, the teaching that I do and getting that enjoyment spill over to what we do in the classroom and doing the students. Well, to have a spirit of excellence is an internal challenge. The challenge is about having a, a constant need to improve, a constant need to uh, do things better, constant need to move the performance bar much higher once a goal or a set of goals is attained. To provide all those additional strategies and to work on strategies to help me explain things to students more clearly, to make them understand in a better way. I'd like to continue building on everyone's trust in me by helping our current and future students in their journey with HETC. So something in my class that I'd like to continue to improve on is being able to engage every student in the class and make them each feel like they are part of the class and part of the journey that they're going to take in their language studies. I will continue to network with people from all walks of life and seek to understand how today's political, economical, social and technological environment affects their business environment, especially in this era of globalisation. I will continue to learn and grow from all these interactions and contribute positively to the people around me. I believe I can be a role model in the class by bringing a positive attitude every day and understanding and valuing the students' input into the class and understanding their culture and the different environments that they come from. I believe trainers should also be learners. By being learners, we are always aware of the students' view of the world. Sometimes an activity or a strategy in the classroom is not working, so we need to be able to assess why it's not working and to develop new ways to teach. And in this way, we can make our lessons as excellent as they can be.